Hi friends, if you wear spectacles or if you've been to an eye doctor, you might have heard these terms. Myopia or nearsightedness, hypermetropia or farsightedness, presbyopia and cataract. These are defects of vision and we'll discuss how they are corrected. Now before we dive into the details, here are some interesting facts for you. Did you know that the first spectacles, eyeglasses, were made in Northern Italy about 730 years back in 1290. Do you know that about 35% of the world's population has nearsightedness and it's expected to grow? It's predicted by 2050, 50% 50 of the world's population. So that's half the population will have nearsightedness. Another interesting fact, by the age 65, more than 90% people have cataract where the eye lens becomes cloudy. Since these vision defects are so common, it's important for us to be aware of them. I'm going to make the concepts really easy for you. And at the end of the video, be sure to try the quiz and the top three questions on this topic. Links are given below the video. As we discussed in the video on human eye, our eye is like a camera. When we look at something, our eye lens focuses the light rays on our retina so that we can see the object clearly. Our eye is like an autofocus camera. The eye has the ability to focus the light rays coming from far away objects and nearby objects. Do you know what is this ability known as? That's right, the power of accommodation. So for the normal eye, that is a person who does not need to wear spectacles, he or she can clearly see distant objects as well as nearby objects. For example, if he's looking at a tree which is far away, the branches and the leaves appear clear to him. The tree does not look blurred. It doesn't look hazy. Of course, he can't see each and every detail, each and every small leaf on the tree, but overall the tree appears clear to him, not blurred. Similarly, if he's sitting at the back of a big classroom, he can easily read the writing on the board. The letters written on the board appear clear to him, not blurred. Now, how far can the normal eye see clearly? That's right, infinity. For example, if the person is seeing very far off things, like mountains and clouds, even though he can't see each and every detail, but they appear clear to him not blurred. So the far point of the normal eye is at infinity. We talked about distant, far away objects. Now let's talk about nearby objects like reading a book. A person who has a normal eye can clearly see nearby objects like a book. The words and letters in the book appear clear to him, not blurred. So he can comfortably read the book. Now, do you know how close can he bring the book and it still appears clear to him? That's correct. For the normal eye, the closest distance is about 25 centimeters. Now, if you bring the book closer than 25 centimeters, then it will appear blurred. So, the near point of the normal eye is at 25 centimeters. Let's summarize what we have learned so far. A person who has normal eyes that is, he does not need to wear spectacles, can see far away objects clearly. So the far point for the normal eye is at infinity. And he can also see nearby objects clearly. The limit here is still 25 centimeters. So the near point for the normal eye is at 25 centimeters. Let's place this summary for the normal eye on our concept board. Till now, we have discussed about the normal eye. Now, let's talk about the people who wear spectacles, eyeglasses. People wear spectacles so that they can see clearly. Because without their glasses, they can't see clearly. Things appear blurry or hazy to them. But do all the people with glasses have the same type of vision problem? No. Let's divide the common vision or eye defects into these four categories. Myopia, hypermetropia, presbyopia, and cataract. Let's start with 
myopia. Myopia is commonly known as short-sightedness or nearsightedness. A person who has myopia can see nearby objects clearly, but he can't see the distant objects clearly. That's why it's called nearsightedness. To see distant objects clearly, he needs spectacles. For a nearby object, let's use the example of reading a book. And for a far away, distant object, let's say the person is sitting at the back of a big classroom and he's looking at the writing on the board. For a person with a normal eye, both the nearby book and the distant board appear clear. But for a person with myopia, the nearby book is clear, but the writing on the distant board appears hazy, blurry. A myopic person needs spectacles of the right power to see the distant board clearly. Most of the students in school who wear spectacles have myopia, short-sightedness. For example, if your friend has myopia and he forgets to bring his spectacles to the class, then he can read the book comfortably, but he will not be able to see the far away board clearly without his spectacles. Now given these options, what do you think can be the far point of a myopic person? That's right, a myopic person can have a far point of 1 meter. Remember, the far point of a normal eye is at infinity. But a person with myopia without his spectacles cannot see the distant objects clearly. His far point is much less than infinity. It's only a few meters or even less. In this case, the far point was 1 meter. So he cannot clearly see beyond 1 meter. Of course, the far point for different people with myopia will be different. Do you know what is the cause of myopia, nearsightedness? Why do distant objects appear blurry to a myopic person? Let's understand in a simple way using a diagram of the eye. Let's say this is a normal eye and it is looking at a distant object. The light rays from a distant object are parallel. The convex lens in the eye converges these light rays on the retina and the person can see a clear image of the object. Now let's say this is the eye of a myopic person. One of the causes of myopia is the high converging power of the eye lens. The focal length of the lens is shorter compared to the normal eye. Where do you think the image of the distant object will be formed? That's right. Because of the high converging power of the eye lens, the image will be formed in front of the retina. So the distant object will appear hazy, blurred. Another cause of myopia is the eyeball being too long. Let's say the person has an elongated eyeball as shown here. Even though the eye lens has the right converging power, but due to the longer eyeball, the light rays again converge before the retina and the distant object appears blurred. As we saw, myopia, short-sightedness can be caused due to high converging power of the eye lens or the eyeball being too long. Myopia can be easily corrected using spectacles. Now do you know what type of lens is used in the spectacles? Convex or concave lens? That's right, the correct answer is concave lens. Let's understand why. For a person with myopia, the parallel rays coming from the distant object converge before the retina and the object appears blurred. If we use a convex lens, then the light rays will converge earlier since convex lens is a converging lens. But to correct his vision, we want the light rays to go further and meet on the retina. So we need to use a concave lens that will first diverge the light rays and make them meet on the retina. The concave lens is a diverging lens and it helps to reduce the converging power of the eye lens. Now the person can see a clear image of the object. If we trace back the rays coming out of the concave lens, they will meet at this point. This is the far point of the myopic person and it is much less than infinity. The concave lens should be of suitable power 
so that it produces a virtual image of the distant object at the far point of the myopic eye so that the image appears clear to him. Let's place myopia or nearsightedness on our concept board. Myopia is corrected using a concave lens. Now let's take a look at the next type of vision defect, hypermetropia. Hypermetropia is commonly known as long-sightedness or far-sightedness. It's also known as hyperopia. First, let's do a quick recap of the vision for a normal eye and for a person with myopia. For a person with a normal eye, both the nearby book and the distant board appear clear. For a person with myopia, the nearby book is clear, but the writing on the distant board appears hazy, blurry. Hypermetropia is the opposite of myopia. So for a person with hypermetropia, the nearby book appears blurry, but the writing on the distant board appears clear. A person who has hypermetropia can see distant objects clearly, but he can't see nearby objects clearly. To see nearby objects clearly, he needs to wear spectacles. You might have noticed that when a person with hypermetropia is not wearing his spectacles, for comfortable reading, he holds a book or a newspaper at a larger distance by stretching his arms. Now, given these options, what do you think can be the near point of a person who has hypermetropia? That's right, a person with hypermetropia can have a near point of 50 centimeters. Remember, the near point of a normal eye is at 25 centimeters. But a person with hypermetropia without his spectacles cannot see nearby objects clearly. His near point is more than that of a normal eye, which was 25 centimeters. And in our case, the near point of the hypermetropic person is 50 centimeters. So he cannot see objects clearly that are closer than 50 centimeters. Of course, the near point for different people with hypermetropia will be different. Do you know what is the cause of hypermetropia? Why do nearby objects appear blurry to a hypermetropic person? Again, let's understand in a simple way using a diagram of the eye. Let's say this is a normal eye and it is looking at a nearby object. The nearby object is placed at the near point, 25 centimeters from the eye. The light rays from a nearby object are divergent. The convex lens in the eye converges these light rays on the retina and the person can see a clear image of the object. Now let's say this is the eye of a hypermetropic person. One of the causes of hypermetropia is the low converging power of the eye lens. The focal length of the eye lens will be longer compared to the normal eye. Where will the image of the nearby object be formed? That's right, behind the retina. So the nearby object will appear hazy, blurred. Another cause of hypermetropia is the eyeball being too short. Even though the eye lens has the right converging power, but due to the shorter eyeball, the light rays again converge behind the retina and the nearby object appears blurred. As we saw, hypermetropia, long-sightedness, can be caused due to low converging power of the eye lens or the eyeball being too short. Another cause can be that the ciliary muscles attached to the eye lens become weak. The weak muscles cannot make the eye lens thicker to increase the converging power of the lens. So the nearby objects appear blurred to the person. Hypermetropia can be easily corrected using spectacles. Now do you know what type of lens is used in the spectacles for hypermetropia? Is it convex or concave lens? That's right, the correct answer is convex lens. Let's understand why. For a person with hypermetropia, the divergent rays coming from a nearby object converge behind the retina and the object appears blurred. To correct his vision, we want the light rays to converge on the retina. So we need to use a convex lens, which is a converging lens, to converge the light rays more 
and make them meet on the retina. Now the person can see a clear image of the object. If we trace back the rays coming out of the convex lens, they will meet at this point behind the object. This is the near point of the hypermetropic person and it is greater than 25 centimeters. The convex lens should be of suitable power so that it produces a virtual image of the nearby object at the near point of the hypermetropic eye so that the image appears clear to him. Let's put hypermetropia or farsightedness on our concept board. As we saw, hypermetropia is corrected using a convex lens. Now let's take a look at the next type of vision defect, presbyopia. Presbyopia is basically hypermetropia due to age. Presbyopia starts becoming noticeable after the age of 40 years and continues to worsen until around 65 years. I'm sure you've seen older people like your grandfather or grandmother using reading glasses when they're reading a book or a newspaper. But when they're not wearing their reading glasses, they hold the book or the newspaper at a far distance so that they can read it comfortably. This is due to presbyopia. In old age, the ciliary muscles become weak and the eye lens becomes inflexible, rigid. The eye loses its power of accommodation. So the old person cannot see the nearby objects like a book clearly, but he is able to see the far away objects like writing on a board in a big classroom clearly. It's just like hypermetropia. That's why we say presbyopia is old age hypermetropia. Presbyopia can be corrected by wearing spectacles. The spectacles are called reading glasses since the person needs to wear them while reading or looking at a nearby object. Now what type of lens is used for these reading glasses? Convex or concave lens? That's right, a convex lens, the same lens that is used for hypermetropia. Let's place presbyopia, which is hypermetropia due to old age on our concept board. Some people have both defects of vision, myopia and hypermetropia. For this person, both nearby objects and distant objects appear blurred, hazy. For example, a nearby object like a book appears blurred and a distant object like writing on a board in a big classroom also appears blurred. Do you know what type of spectacles he needs to buy to correct his vision? He needs to buy a spectacles having bifocal lenses. In bifocal lenses, the upper part contains a concave lens to correct myopia and the lower part contains a convex lens to correct hypermetropia. If you look closely, can you see a thin line between the concave and convex lens? Do you know why the upper part of the bifocal lens is a concave lens and the lower part is a convex lens? You can take a spectacles and try this out yourself. When you're looking at a distant object, you'll notice that you're using the upper part of the spectacles. And when you're looking at a nearby object, like a book, you'll notice that you're using the lower part of the spectacles while reading the book. That's why the upper part of the bifocal lens is a concave lens to correct myopia. And the lower part is a convex lens to correct the hypermetropia. One issue with the bifocal lens is that there is a sudden change in the lens type and power of the lens. And the bifocal line is visible. These days, a new type of lens is available called a progressive lens that solves the issues of the bifocal lens. It's called a progressive lens since the power of the lens progressively, gradually changes from point to point on the lens surface. This gives better vision for objects at different distances. So whether the object is far away, object at an intermediate distance and nearby objects 
you get a better vision. You can't see any line on the progressive lens. And that's why progressive lenses are called no line multifocal lenses and are used by people who have both myopia and hypermetropia. Progressive lenses are better than bifocal lenses, but they are also more expensive. Now let's talk about another eye defect that usually comes in old age. It's called cataract. In cataract, the eye lens of a person becomes progressively cloudy, progressively opaque, resulting in blurred vision. Here is how the vision looks like for a person with cataract. As you can see, both distant and nearby objects will appear blurred to him. Cataracts often develop slowly and can affect one or both eyes. Cataract decreases the vision of the eyes and can lead to a total loss of vision. Do you know how the cataract vision problem can be removed? Cataract cannot be fixed by wearing spectacles since it's due to the opaqueness that develops in the eye lens. To fix it, a surgical operation needs to be done. In the cataract operation, a small slit is made near the edge of the cornea of the eye. The cloudy eye lens is removed and replaced with an artificial eye lens. I know it sounds scary that they are removing your eye lens and replacing it with a new one. But it has to be done since the eye lens has turned opaque. The cataract operation is pretty fast. It only takes about 10 minutes. And after the operation, it takes a couple of weeks for the eye to adjust to the new artificial lens. After that, there's no blurred vision problem and the person can see clearly. Let's pin cataract and the way to fix it on our concept board. I hope the concept of vision defects is crystal clear to you now. So next time if you or your friend is having difficulty seeing distant or nearby objects, then you should definitely visit the eye doctor. Now that you know these concepts, you'll be able to have a better discussion with your doctor. And to revise the concepts, try the quiz and the top three questions for this video. Links are given below. And do remember to like, comment and share out this video and hit the subscribe button for my YouTube channel right now. And don't forget to click the notification bell to get notified about new videos. You can check my Facebook page and do check out my website manochaacademy.com for more videos like these and for the quiz and the top three questions on this video. Thanks for watching.